Ooh, we got camera equipment. One of eight. <laughs> One less kidney. All right, guys, welcome back. Day five. Day five, Hell Week. Here we are, right to our right here. We have eight fresh boxes from Lens Rentals. All the camera equipment we're gonna be using for the Freedom 500 and Clearson cars. That arrives, so we're gonna to go to the Freedom Factory, drop all that off today. New drift livery number one, Daniel Hoy's bear swapped Mark III Supra. Clean setup, followed by Henry's S13. I mean, these two together, when they're done, are gonna look absolutely amazing. So we showed you the designs in, I think, two videos ago. I'll plug them back up here and here. We're gonna start on these this week and uh, get the ball rolling. G-Wagons, almost completed. We got Ty finishing up the golf cart. Yesterday's video was pretty fresh with the dirt bike. Since then, I polished the upper part of the frame. I just wanted a cleaner setup. I wanted a cleaner setup, so love it. But first things first, let's take a look at what camera gear we got. Unbox it all here. Then we're just gonna load up a couple cars and all the camera equipment and bring it over to the Freedom Factory. Let's yeah. jump into it. All right guys, so inside all those crazy boxes, we have four CX350s, and we're gonna be using our FX6 for the ground cam. Andrew's using it right now. That's what we're gonna be using as kind of the cleater cam in the pit, close up action stuff. Um, so we have four CX350s in these cases. Each one of these, we have a five inch Atomos Shinobi, uh, just as a monitor to give the guys a bigger viewfinder so they can stay on the action. Uh, we have all the audio cabling, long runs of XLRs, this is basically a vest that you wear that has an articulating arm that holds the weight of uh, a steady cam and the camera that Andrew's holding. I've done it with a gimbal in the past for all the pre-show, the car decorations, things like that, but it blows your back out. So we don't want Andrew to blow his back up. So we got this and we're going to keep this piece of kit here so we can uh, set that up with our specific camera and get Andrew acquainted with it so it all runs smoothly. This right here has probably been the most talked about item in uh, the DM sent to us at least was the microphones. We noticed a lot of comments about the audio not being perfect. So we're doing our absolute best to come in, help everybody out and hopefully get the audio sounding crispy. These cameras are gonna sit on these Manfrotto 542s. They are honestly one of my favorite fluid heads. Um, they're reasonably priced, especially for rentals and they have such a smooth movement up, down, left, right. I think it's time to shut up, pack the truck. We gotta lug two cars over to the shop right now, as well as drop off all the camera gear, all the print product. Let's go for a ride. That's it? Yeah. All right. This isn't the business line, but... Doing well, Michael, how are you? Yeah, like spe but it's Specky 36 stuff, it's pretty cool. Keith is back. One less kidney. <laughs> This is kind of majestic and cinematic. Majestic and cinematic. Yeah. Okay. And we were gonna show you the control room, but the way the control room looks right now, there's boxes everywhere. And the cool thing about it is, is the base that we had set up 
they're kind of building off of that. So the stuff that we had is kind of proving useful. So that's super good. But I'm looking at the track right now. It just looks so freaking good. Right over that hill, there's I think 19 or 20 beautiful Crown Vicks ready for liveries later this week. But you know what? We'll show you guys that tomorrow or potentially Wednesday. And then we're doing the full test on Thursday. So I know this was super short and sweet, but can't show you the cars. Can't show you the room. We're just taking you on for the ride. So I guess we're going to head out and go get some food. See you guys on the next one.